tumbling down, pledging their love to the ground. In the United Kingdom, nightlife is of epic proportions, loved by many and loathed by just as much. Last year, circa December 2013, Nightlife in the UK pulled in £2 billion, employing over 36,000 people, spread across nearly 7,000 businesses. Since 2009, there has been a 5.2% decline in the growth of nightlife. This is due to licensing hours and the smoking ban. Clubbing has become unaffordable for many, resulting in the incline of alcohol purchases from off-licenses, supermarkets and the internet. According to an article published on the Birmingham Mail.co.uk, the top nine cities in the UK for nightlife are London, Manchester, Newcastle, Liverpool, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Leeds, Cardiff, and Birmingham. As you can see, only London is located in the south. This leads us into an investigation of why High Wycombe, a town of 120,000 people, has only one operating club, the Book Students Union. High Wycombe was once a thriving international destination for furniture manufacturing, boasting the likes of Egon and Urkel. The Buckinghamshire town is also known for its hellfire caves in Hunden Manor, which was 19th century Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli's country home. I spoke with several Buckinghamshire New University students about a nightlife that is available to them in High Wycombe. My name is Will and I'm from Essex. My name is Shiroz and I'm from Bradford. My name is Hate Cleary and I come from Salford. My name's James Rediff and I'm from London. It's shit. There's nothing to do really apart from the studio union. There's only one thing to do. It's boring. It's fucking horrendous. Well, really badly. If there was more clubs then we'd meet more people. Because the studio union is only good on like a Wednesday. So you're in your flat so you can't really sleep some nights because everyone's here. Um, well, I get depressed. I think it's pretty good. It's not a club. It's, 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 like, it's like a high bar. It's good, but it's just the same thing every night. It's good. They like put some good nights, like nights out and stuff. Um, some good few events, but there's definitely more they could do. This SU ward, misery. The Book Student Union is High Wycombe's only club. It is also a registered charity and represented by a president and two vice presidents. I spoke with them regarding the establishment and High Wickham. Wickham is a very, very strange place. Um, it's really, really affluent, um, but in the centre of Wickham, um, it sort of lacks, I don't know, it sort of lacks the prest sort of prestige that you have in other sort of areas that are in the home county. So obviously you've got um, Reading not too far away, you've got Windsor, you've got Watford, and they've got loads of clubs. Um, a lot of the people in Wickham choose to travel out to those places to go out clubbing. Um, a lot of the locals, I'm not going to say too much about them, but um, they like to come into Wickham and a lot of the locals here, they, um, they, they would choose to have a cheaper night out, I would say, and I guess that sort of puts off big um, promoters coming here to put on a, a really, really good night if people are only going to go out and drink Fosters and have a fight. So, <laughs> not saying any names. Bedford has a population of roughly 80,000 people. That's 40,000 less than High Wycombe. Despite this, Bedford has a more varied and populous nightlife with at least five high quality clubs. Like High Wycombe, Bedford is a traditional English market town. It is known for 12th century Castle Mound and the 13th century St Paul's Church. There have also been several Hollywood movies, such as The Dark Knight, partially shot just outside the town. I spoke to several students from the University of Bedfordshire, Bedford campus, about a nightlife available to them in the town. Uh, my name's Ben Moore, I'm from Northamptonshire. My name's Ryan James, and I originate from Luton in Bedfordshire. My name's Jadine, and I come from Houghton Regis. Uh, it's, it's alright. Bedford's nightlife is, it's alright actually, Monday nights are the best ones, and vibe. Element is alright, and Yates on a Friday night is pretty good as well. Bedford's nightlife's pretty good. Uh, Wednesdays I don't really go out anymore, but when I do, I always miss my Thursday lectures, and I've only been to one this term, so it kind of affects it. I go to all my lectures. Um, I don't get that drunk. It's just, it's alright. Um, doesn't really affect it. 
affect it from when I said I go out on Monday nights because I know that I don't have the next the next day. And pretty solid, so it doesn't affect me. <laughs> My colleague John and I did go for a night out at Elements which led me to befriending an Australian and chasing an Evan Fox before sleeping on a hard sofa. High Wycombe is very culturally diverse, with many communities that do not drink alcohol. This may dissuade business owners from setting up nightclubs in the area. The Buckinghamshire town is surrounded by major towns and cities, all with an energetic nightlife. The main destinations are Reading, Windsor, Watford, Oxford and London. These places tend to be where High Wycombe's more affluent citizens party. Whereas, the less affluent characters prefer the likes of High Wycombe's Yates and Butlers, two of Wycombe's more at-it nightly destinations, which I think says it all.